Hey, hey, down here. Hey there. My name is Mississippi's Tatanka Gold, but you can call me Bully. Hey, Bully! Everybody else does. Yeah, I'm a pretty popular guy around here, but then I do represent Mississippi State University, home of the Bulldogs. I live with my mom, Lisa, but come to work with her every day right here at the College of Veterinary Medicine. Pretty cool doghouse, huh? Hey, as you know, the College of Veterinary Medicine is celebrating its 210th year anniversary, or should I say 30 years for you humans. Ground was broken for the facility in 76. Yeah, and they tell me digging's not allowed. And in 1977, the first class enrolled. Full accreditation was received in 1981. And today, Dr. John Thompson serves as dean. Hey, let's go see what he's up to. Well, hi, Bully. Why don't you come on in and join us? We're just having a discussion here about the many opportunities that veterinary medicine has to serve society. Some of you want to tell me how you plan to use your veterinary degree? Well, I plan to go into companion animal medicine and specialize in reproduction. And with the 2 plus 2 curriculum here... Hey, what's down here? I think it's students! Students working hard. Well, you got to love that. Now, this is the specific pathogen-free catfish hatchery. The disease-free fish produced in this hatchery afford us a... Okay, time now to take you to my favorite place. The Animal Health Center is where my species hangs out. I'll introduce you to some of my friends. We'll harass a few cats. It'll be fun. The mission of the Animal Health Center is to provide primary care to pet owners in the area and to serve as a center for advanced care and diagnostics. I'll take you to an examination room now. This is where we noble creatures are treated. Ho, oh, whoa, snake! Take a closer look. No, 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 that, that's okay. Hope you get better, buddy. Hey, time for us to be moving on. Now, of course, our traditional x-ray facilities, as well as our ultrasound lab, are second to none. Those are our veterinary technicians. They can handle just about any issue related to teeth and gum health. Hey, boy, come on in. No, no, that, that, that's quite all right. Bunch of over-eager, overachievers. Everybody wants to take care of you. And this is the endoscopy room. Better scrub in. Here and in surgery, our students learn delicate procedures. And my friend Teresa Palmer has brought her dog here. For it's a state-of-the-art facility for equine reproductive health. I'm Morgan Freeman. Several years ago, I got involved with Mississippi State School of Veterinary Medicine through its equine program. I have horses, obviously. And I've been very pleased and proud of that uh, connection. And we have, too. Mr. Freeman's gift is allowing us to advance the health, well-being, performance, and veterinary care of horses through research and education. Each equine breeding represents between $1,000 and $4,500 in retained income for the state of Mississippi. In case you can't tell, I'm really proud to be affiliated with the College of Veterinary Medicine at Mississippi State. Hey, just listen to what my friends have to say. I think it's just great here. No, not you. We all really love it here. No, no, no. I, I mean my human friends. The faculty here is wonderful. They will do anything you need them to do. I've been extremely pleased with my experience in the vet school. Um, the family atmosphere is wonderful. They're always on the forefront of technology and research. Um, they've got the PBL so curriculum. My husband and I had this for several years had discussed donating to the vet school, but we had just kind of put it on the back burner. And after his death, I decided to go ahead and do this. He was always interested in the fact that they have good professors, so that's why I went that route. I can just see the school going up, and it has been, meant so much to me. I have actually found another family by being involved with the vet school. The Dr. Hugh G. Ward Chair um, is a fairly new position. It's been around for about a year or two. Um, and in, even in that short period of time, it's enabled us to significantly improve uh, the quality of what we do here. Our future looks brighter than ever. Don't you think so, Bully? You said it, Dr. T. Mississippi State's College of Veterinary Medicine is the best. Now I'm gonna see if Emma's got any more treats. Y'all take care.